Today we are screen to screen with Navat Miller, Israeli American artist based in Berlin. Thank you so much for being here today with us, Navat, and sharing your screen. So, how are you holding up these days? What is your living situation like? I guess like I'm trying to keep up with the situation in a way that I try to benefit from it as much as possible. Uh, and so, like I don't know, like what's the scenario in other countries, but right now in Berlin. It is some sort of a lockdown. However, it is possible to go out for a walk or even like for a run, just uh, as long as you keep like social distancing. But just like in terms of how this the situation is going on, so I live in um, in Berlin. I live in an art community. Uh, it's called Kule, and the the constellation in which we live is like an entire building. Uh, yeah, five yeah five floors. Um, we're seventeen artists. Each of us have. Uh, you know, some sort of a room. Some of us have also like apartments here, but the ground floor of this building is uh, on a normal day, uh, a space for some weeks. It's, uh, it's for, I don't know, uh, rehearsals for some weeks. It's a, uh, it's a theater. Some weeks it's a gallery space, but at the moment as this space is empty uh, because all of our planned events are canceled, uh, so I've been using this space, not alone. I'm sharing this space with another fashion designer that lives here. And so we're kind of sharing this space as our studio. Has this current situation changed or influenced your art practice? It changed my art practice in the sense that, I mean, specifically, if I think like technically, where was I supposed to be right now is I was, I was supposed to do a, a month long residency in London. I was very much looking forward to do this residency in terms of my productivity. Uh, that, that residency was more or less uh, a scenario in which I have a studio to work in and then over a w one month I work and that ends up with some sort of a show. That um, got called off and so I found myself with a lot of like, yeah, will and like passion to, you know, work somewhere. And since that, it took me a couple of days to realize like, what do I do right now? How, how do I, how can I continue practicing my, my work? And so uh, until I, you know, with the help of other flatmates of mine, I was, uh, I was, we were thinking about using this space. Generally, I'm influenced by social encounters and also like news sometimes. Uh, and so looking at or like thinking about this, uh, this the, the scenario we're in, um, I'm mostly influenced by the way people talk about this and the way that places I've like I've gone used to see full such as parks or even like this street outside which is usually busier than what it is right now. Yeah. I now look at it in a different way and it's uh yeah, it's it's a little bit of a like reflective mood for me but also it allows me to see other things that I usually don't notice in like the places that I've gone so familiar with. So how would you describe your work to someone you just met? Answering what do I do I would probably say um, I like to work with topics uh, that are yeah reflecting on symmetry, sexuality, mm. and religion sometimes. Have you made any new pieces recently? Are the ones behind you pretty fresh? I've been working the past week uh, and I've been doing these two right here. And so the first one on the on the very left, I mean my left, is uh, the one I was talking about is a Central Park um, on a more popular day. This, the, this piece right here it's something that goes a little bit more to my childhood. Uh, yeah, and then like more, um, it's like, it's, it's a family portrait. In the, very, in the very center of the portrait is my grandmother who is uh, suffering from uh, intense dementia right now. And this, mm -hmm. this photograph was taken 
literally like days before her 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 entire ability to talk and to you know communicate with us just went like fully numb and uh this family portrait was more or less we were all like coming to my grandmother's house you know we we got together i was visiting uh and so we took a picture of that and um it's uh yeah it's a little bit sad because days after this like photo was taken yeah my grandmother really like her her health situation got really uh worsened and then the background of this picture as i like to do uh, like i like to combine a couple of pictures on one work uh this is a just a, a road sign in Faroe Islands I visited with uh with my uh yeah with my boyfriend um last year and again I just uh kind of like to impose or like to collage like moments into like one one piece of paper what do you think the largest impact this crisis will have on artists the ability to be somewhere online you know the ability to talk to someone the ability to present yourself uh to have an online meeting it's coming it's it's like you know what we're doing right now it's something that we wouldn't probably think about i don't know two months ago i mean you know like we would have a rather personal approach to this and so the online platform or or virtual reality not not virtual reality but like being in this virtual world is uh definitely like increasing i think you know while you've been confined where do you look for inspiration i kind of like i like to set myself to 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 like a place where i can like activate some some feelings or like for me it's a little bit it has a a little bit to do with sadness and melancholic and so i try to read uh more than what I usually read lately. And usually the books I read are books that, you know, involve some, some, some sadness to them. And so James Baldwin, for example, I've been reading many of his books recently. And specifically right now, I'm reading uh, Go Tell It in the Mountains. Uh, I just, I love the way that James Baldwin describes a room. Mm -hmm. It's like it, he takes all the time he needs to describe the color, the people in it, the sound, the, the weather outside in such a beautiful way that really allows you to be so focused in it. And then this, like while doing this, I, I also allow myself to reflect on, you know, more personal things. I don't know, like relationships, family. Uh, and this obviously increases also my, my, my willingness to, to work and to translate such feelings and thoughts into paper or film. Heavyweight. Screen to screen.